watching Edivision TV. Like, share, and subscribe. Greetings viewers and subscribers, welcome back to Edivision TV, the channel where we look at sports differently. I'm your host, Eddie Gona, and this is another one, another quick update. Not a good one, but this time it's about our reggae boy, Casey Palmer. He was in action today, and um, his team won 2-1, but that's, the, that's not the major talking point in this one. He was allegedly racially abused by the fans right you know and it, it got really ugly people you know we saw support from his teammate and fellow reggae boy joey latibadir on instagram you know he, he made a post about it you know and um funny enough deshaun bernard was on the other team he was a uh, playing for sheffield wednesday but nevertheless um more incidents of players being racially abused and you know when will it stop we see it over and over this time our jamaicans are suffering now so sitting home and um coventry city posted on instagram coventry city are shocked and saddened by the racial gesture directed at our player casey palmer in today's game against Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough. We entirely condemn the abuse and are totally clear that there is no place for this abuse or discrimination in football or in our wider society. Relevant authorities will now be worked with and we expect action to be taken against any supporter identified. Doug King, Coventry City owner, said, we completely condemn the abuse aimed at Casey Palmer today and will support him following this incident. There is no place for this in football or society and support Sheffield Wednesday and the authorities in taking the strongest possible action. Now, Sheffield Wednesday made a post as well. Sheffield Wednesday and Coventry City are shocked and saddened by the racist jester from the stands reported by Sky Blues player Casey Palmer during today's game at Ellsborough. Both clubs roundly condemn any form of discrimination and abuse and underline that there is no place for this kind of behaviour in football. We will work together with the relevant authorities and anyone proven to be culpable will face the strictest possible sanctions from both Sheffield Wednesday and the law. We stand shoulder to shoulder with Coventry City and the football world in stamping out this abhorrent and wholly unacceptable behavior. SWFC Chairman Delphan Chancery said we absolutely condemn the abuse reported by Casey Palmer today and stand together with Coventry City in our clear stance that there is no place in football or society for such appalling behavior. So again people, more of the same from both clubs. You know, no room for this in football or society. But for some reason, it keeps on happening over and over. You know, something has to be done. You now, as you can see in the video, Casey Palmer clearly heard something from the fans and went to the referee to let the referee know about it, you know. And you know, also prior to the game, footage emerged of Sheffield Wednesday and Coventry fans in heated scenes outside of the ground. And then later in stoppage time, the game was marred by an allegation that player Casey Palmer was the victim of racist acts from opposing fans, with a battle among objects thrown towards him in the northwest corner. The match official Anthony Backhouse went over to speak with both managers. So, you know, we need to kick out racism out of the game. No place for racism, you know, but... What say you guys about this situation? Our very own Casey Palmer racially abused by opposing fans. 
in the victory today against Sheffield Wednesday. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm Eddie Gona. Thanks for watching. And always remember, like, share and subscribe.